OK. So here we have a composition called Poise One with a theme highlighted, which sounds like this. Then we have a score called Grace One Mixed, which sounds like this. And finally, we have a score called Grace 2, which sounds like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Evolving Spaces, Episode 15, Transformation Wither Cycles. We re-entered by reflecting, wondering, are we done with our custom scale, which is A flat one two two one four four six, which we've been using on our keyboard? Um, and the short answer is no, we're not. Uh, in particular, that theme da 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 has been haunting us and has been keeping our interest and suggesting that more things want to emerge out of it. So. One of the things that we did is we started calling it a grace theme. So we did some research on what grace comes from, which is the ancient word to favor something or to unite, to be associated, to be suitable. And there's mythology about the three graces, which are the champions of charm, beauty, nature, creativity, creativity, goodwill, and fertility. So um, that's kind of our theme for that. So results results we did a bunch of sorting of some older work and along the way that's kind of how we got the idea for grace because we were looking for more 3d images to put with our animations and we thought of the three graces um so we made grace one which we showed you and I'll just show it to you again where we took the took the notes of our A flat one two two one four four six scale and took that same theme and then we started experimenting by adding E flat and E. And when you add E flat and E, um, it turns it into a different kind of a scale. It has the same uh, notes, but you've added two more, which sounds obvious, but it makes a lot of difference. So we even summarized that up here. We have the a flat one two two one four four six, and then if you add two more notes, you get a five five eight. And so we said, okay, well, we're going to start composing with that as well. That's why it says mixed. And then the minute you add two more notes, it turns out you can look at the two scales as either an A flat one two two one or a C three four four three. They have the eight same notes, whereas if you don't, they don't. So. <laughs> Long story short, we built some themes, researched the idea of grace, made a grace two, and added more themes, and added more parts and timbres. Um, we also had a excellent dialogue with chat. Um, Panic Studio stopped by to say hello, and we know Panic Studio and another guys from our old Twitch stream. And so we talked about music influence videos. We played videos for each other, and... Um, both of us compose music for ourselves and for other people. So what we're going to do to bring us home is play where we're at with Grace 2 at the moment. So you can see that it's got, um, it's got a theme line, and then we echo overlaid the theme line, and then we added what we call a shimmer or a bass part. So here we go.
that concludes today's episode. What we really like about Grace 3 is um, using the mixed scales. You can see the upper scale is always the A-flat root, and the lower scale annotation is the C root. So as a simple example, here, um, here we're going what we call all ambivalent if you look at it as an A-flat root, or it's all dominant. So ambivalent is a kind of a, a, a clash. It's a clash of the attempt to have a home mode versus an urge, whereas dominant is all urge, saying, you know, come on, get home, get home. Uh, and then, however, at the ending, they both agree that it's a it's an urge. We're ending on an urge, um, which... Sometimes it's good to end on a rest note, and sometimes it's good to end on an urge note. It's up to the composer. So we like that. We also like that we used our Key Step 37 MIDI keyboard over several chapters to generate ideas. Um, So we generated a lot of that by ear and hand, and by having our key step connected to the computer, we could then record it. Although, to be honest, we were noodling on the real piano and on our our little um, smartphone. So we like we like generating the themes, and then once you've got a bunch of themes, which are basically melodies, even though we had a little bit of harmony, like here. Uh, mostly, it was individual notes. This is our uh, custom scale here, by the way. It's got that nice, exotic, strange flavor. And we, we, we know that when we use the 21 scale, the A-flat scale, it's got that, that exotic weirdness. But if we were to go to the C root scale, it would sound very familiar. It would sound Western. So we wanted in this mixed, that's why we call it mixed. We want to get that exotic flavor in there, but also leave room for the more, you know, consonant familiar stuff. So it's, it's grace. It's a mixture, the three graces or however. We also liked adding a nice uh, shimmer or bass part. And we went back to our old friend, the Gamaka from uh, Hindu music, where you put a little grace note in there. Again, everything is sticking sticking with our, our scale. Ugh. Yeah. We're sticking with the allowed notes of the scale, which are basically G to C. Well, G to C. And then occasionally allowing the E and the E flat. And that that that's the 21 scale is no E and E flat, and the 22 scale is allowing the E and the E flat. So anyway, we like it. Our ideas for next time are to to be determined. As usual, revisit Grace Two. Do we want to animate it? Do we want to tune it a bit further? We did take the time and trouble to make a whole reference score for the uh, A flat one two two one four four six scale. We don't have reference scores in place for the other three variations, so we could make those. Shout out to Panic Studio for the excellent dialogue and Cyclic Integrator and Silent Lurker. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.